area. There's Sandy, 85 mile per hour winds, and she's just getting going here. Going to intensify, but really the bigger idea is whether it intensified. We're going to get some stronger winds throughout the afternoon and into the evening. When it goes on shore midnightish tonight and then through the morning hours overnight, it's going to weaken and our winds will slacken off. But until then, we've got some problems. Right now, wind gusts 45 miles per hour out there. Nantucket in the 40s on the vineyard in the 30s out there at Chatham, although it's gusted as high at Chatham earlier today. These are the four for this afternoon morning 60s in the 60s by Monday morning 11 that's just an hour away and then this afternoon into the 60s and 70s hurricane force wind gusts on the way and then weakening overnight so things will look better overnight but until then we've got a ways to go trees and poles will be coming down there will be power outages of course the coastal flood concerns we're dealing with right now and also I'll add this guys going back to you both Providence TF Bradley International Airport in Connecticut both of operations for the rest of the day no more flights going in or out either one of those airports still spinning to our south this morning her immense is already being felt on the cape wind gusts there could reach more than 55 miles per hour fox 25's Catherine prada has been in chatham for us throughout the morning she's here now with the very latest for us good morning Catherine. We are live here in Chatham. As you mentioned, we're here on Lighthouse Beach. We first got here around 3.30 in the morning. We were experiencing gusts of maybe about 25 miles per hour. I checked and these gusts that are kind of battering us now, these are in the 40 mile per hour range. We're experiencing sustained winds of about 30 miles per hour. In fact, I'm blowing around. The crew is blowing around. Our truck is blowing around. It's rocking back and forth. You sit in that thing. It feels like you're on a boat. The good thing is, but speaking of boats, they haven't actually been experiencing people out on the water today, and that is a credit to some of the preparation we did in advance of this storm. I spoke with the harbor. Two or three, three days, uh, folks have been uh, the water. If they can't haul their boats out of the water, they've been uh, putting extra mooring lines. Up. secure harbors. Um, a lot of the fishing fleet here in Chatham Harbor have left for either uh, Harwich or Stage Harbor or Riders Cove. Now in terms of things out on the ocean here in Chatham, where we are, we're pretty much at high, but if you turn behind me, you can see that ocean just churning up, but it is still a ways away from where we are. However, the harbor master did 